Philippe, you have written in the catalog of this exhibition, so why do you think it's an interesting point of view? Uh, a good question and a big question. Uh, I was thrilled to be invited to write uh, one of the chapters on one of the decades. I chose the 70s and in a way that if I think in terms of why did I pick the 70s and what makes this exhibition so interesting to me and I think potentially to many others, it's a trip through all of the things that had such an impact on me in my formative years. You know, I was a teenager in the 60s, I started working in the art world in 1970 uh, and so was more engaged in the 70s, but the, the, the creative store of history of the 20th century was just so, of the previous half of the 20th century, uh, was just so fascinating to me. I had such an appetite for it and I fulfilled I'll say it slightly differently. Mm -hmm. I just had such an appetite for the visual culture of the first half of the 20th century uh, and the years that I had lived through, the 50s, the 60s, and was living through the 70s. And um, my culture was derived from the pages of magazines. I was brought up in you know, a world which a young generation today simply doesn't know, where so much is accessible through a telephone. Uh, but for me, as a growing up in the 50s, 60s, if I was curious, which I was, about the worlds of fashion and style, of architecture, of interior design, of graphics, of, of art and creativity in every, in every sector, I got my information through the printed page. Mm. And when I talk about the printed page, I mean uh, the glossy magazines, uh, of, of course. You were living in London? Uh, I was living in Brighton, um, and I just learnt so much through key magazines. Vogue, of course, was among them, uh, but others. Uh, I think I also spent long holidays in France with my grandmother. And there I would see everything from Réalité, Connaissance des Arts, to Paris Match, Jour de France. I mean, uh, but here it's about Condé Nast. Here it's very much and, Condé Nast. And so what, in the selection of photos, what do you feel? Well, what excites me so much about the selection of photographs that constitutes this, this very rich exhibition is that it, it, it contradicts your expectations because I think many people make the direct assumption uh, Condé Nast, Vogue, fashion. But actually the exhibition is uh, far wider than just the world of fashion. Uh, it is about the worlds of creativity. The exhibition constitutes a, a fabulous journey through the, through the 20th century up to 1980, which is the cutoff point for the show. Uh, and you are witnessing through these still images really the spectacle of so many aspects of our shared cultural history. And did you have big surprises in the show? I'm trying to think if I did. <laughs> <laughs> I was delighted to find such a a wonderful cocktail of f familiar images and images which I didn't know at all. So there were there were lots of delicious surprises. Uh, it was what also, is your best delicious? Uh, well, one delight that, I, 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 as you ask me, pops into my little head: it, small format print of Fred Astaire in mid movement, uh, which I just thought was a jewel of style and performative art. It, in a way, it encapsulates everything the show is about. Mm -hmm. Throw in the film, cinema, the movie. Image. There's an, also an, a very surprising principle which play in the in the exhibition, which is the association of ideas popping from one photo to another. It's very interesting, I think. Yes, I think that the exhibition is clever in essentially following a chronology. 
and therefore avoiding uh, obvious uh, th little thematic runs of pictures. So it, it, it's like a, 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 a huge dinner party where the plasma <laughs> is made by throwing the cards up in the air and letting them land where they land. And I think that makes you think. And it, it, it wrong foots you sometimes, it surprises you. Um, but I think it works very well. And is there something you, you would have liked to see and that you don't see here? No, I, I think it's a very rich panorama of the years, the decades that it covers. Uh, if you ask me if I'd like to see something that's not here, I'd just say more, more. <laughs> I can't get enough of it. You are very hungry. Yeah. <laughs> hungry. Merci beaucoup. Thank you.